Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, it's the level designer, uh, and my name is Jeremy Cavender, and I'm here with another video um, from the title or the thumbnail, um, depending on how all that stuff comes out. Uh, you probably noticed that I'm not in Unreal Engine today. Uh, I'm making stuff in Unity. Um, I haven't made a lot of levels in Unity for this channel, and that's something that I, I want to change. But uh, kind of going into Unity, uh, I wanted to use kind of a, a framework um, for something uh, so I don't have to completely start over from scratch as far as like making kind of a, a playable game goes. So um, I'm not signed into Unity Asset Store, so uh, I mean you can see what the price of this uh, package is here. But uh, right now, uh, this is um, the top-down engine basically from More Mountains. And uh, this is a pre-built um, engine that you can buy uh, and use in Unity. And it has a lot of different tools and levels for making top-down games. And it's actually pretty useful, um, especially if you are just getting started and you're not too familiar with um, you know, coding or, or something that you're not really particularly interested in and you want to use something just to uh, get into more design aspects of games. Uh, this is a really great pack to use, um, but I'm going to kind of use it just for uh, a template for building out a level. So uh, again, if you like this video and if you like this pack, uh, I recommend checking out Top Down Engine. Um, it's a great little uh, asset and I will post a link for it down below in the description. But anyway, um, I, I've come in here and you see that I have all of this, uh, this scene already that I've, I've started and I, I have a few things already built out. Uh, so uh, this is kind of a, a copied scene. Uh, from a demo from this pack so uh, everything in here is kind of put together already but I want to kind of give you a idea of what uh, my scene looks like from the the get-go and this is just kind of stuff that I pulled from other demo scenes so I haven't really I, I haven't done a lot with um, I haven't done a lot with this already but uh, to kind of give you an idea, uh, we have this, um, if we just play, we, we have this character, and, um, we have this, uh, we have this enemy. You see, this is a, kind of a hard little game that, uh, we can start here uh so yeah i mean this is something that um you know we have like these walls and stuff uh we'll probably expand those but again this is a very simple just pack to use um that you know is not too complex um one of the things i'm not entirely used to are these uh so we have these cinema machine zones so if you're not familiar with uh, Cinemachine, Cinemachine is a asset that provides a lot more uh, camera options uh, in your uh, Unity projects. I'm not entirely sure if it's used in Unreal, but I know a lot of people use Cinemachine in Unity. And um, there's these different zones, which I've not really... I've not really messed with all too much, but I'm very curious of um, how these may work. So, um, I think with that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let's see if I can get rid of zone two and zone three. Now this, I don't know, I might, uh, now is this the box collider? I'm wondering, I think it might be. Yeah, so I'm just going to expand just this one zone out. Again, this is something that uh, you might really uh, play around with. Um, but I'm not going to get so much into like the camera work and stuff today. Uh, I just want to make sure and confirm that this works. Um, 
which I believe it does. So right now, uh, if we die, let me see if I can just die real fast. Come on, hit me, man. It's not very accurate. Come on. Man. There we go. Yeah, and the cool thing with this uh, pack too is that there's like achievements that you can actually implement in your game. So um, I'm sure that that might work with like Steam achievements or um, any of the like trophy system or achievement system. Within the consoles. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in this pack. And uh, with that in mind, um, I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm just going to disable zone 1 because I don't really want to uh, have all of that. But um, I'm going to actually look into... I'm going to save this. Or just save project. And uh, another thing that I've installed in this project is uh, Pro Builder. I wanted Pro Builder in here because I think it's a really handy uh, blockout tool that I think um, every level designer uh, should use in uh, Unity. So again, I just want to test some some things out. Uh, I have these uh, little items that um, I think will be really handy. And then I have this, um, I have this, uh, character object. I should, anyway. So, hmm. So it seems like I'm just the container in this colonial object. So I might try to play around with that. But uh, a thing I want to try to play around with is just, uh, especially in this uh, first video, is I want to just try to play around with um, Pro Builder. So we have. Um, And I kind of forgot how to use Pro Builder. I haven't used it in a while. Um, that makes a lot of sense, I guess. Um, again, um, if you want to learn how to use Pro Builder, which is probably, st I should probably go back and, and watch my own videos. But um, yeah, that is uh, a video that I have on my channel. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of. Place these according, accordingly. And like the kind of nice thing that I love, especially about some of these scene demo scenes that Top Down Engine provides, is they provide this really nice just grid floor that allows you to really, um, really allows you to place things with uh, nice precision. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, take a look and see so we have kind of the object uh, selector here and then we have the edges and then the wait, vertexes edges and faces uh, so with this um, I'm just going to let me see extrude I'm gonna extrude this out I'll have this like be a, a double wall or, or something. Um, but I might go ahead and make there's like an arc shape uh, here that I could uh, put in here. I don't know. Oh, it's probably not what I want. So, huh. Let's do this. No. Okay. 
trying to figure out, I think, okay, this is probably, whoa, no, it's not. I'm learning here. Um, <laughs> just trying to figure out, like, okay, how's the best way to go about this? It keeps making uh, an arc that way, but I don't want to. I think it's just gonna do that. Well, that's fine. Um, what well, we could probably do too, um, if we really wanted to have like an arc or something here, is we could just make like a three by three grid, like that just make like a little archway or something and then um, on like the object itself yeah we'll just turn it now the thing that I'm kind of interested in is like well can you add in a um... what I don't know I have no idea where those, where those other arches came from. Um, but another thing that I'm curious is, like, can you actually have this be... I don't know, you know, like... Um, let's see what... Oh, I don't know if we want that. It's like walking. That's weird. In caps, move, side counts, whoa. Thickness, shape, edit shape. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of odd. Let's not do arcs. I'm not entirely sure how... Um, let's just get rid of all these to make it easier. All right. So I have this... Um, let's just stick with the shapes that we know um, we can use. <laughs> just to make it a little bit more easier. Um, but... One of the things that I, I really want to play around with is the AI and all of his little points. Uh, so you see that all of these little AI paths are here, and that's something that I definitely want to um, play around with. So let me take a look at this. Because this is something that is a part of the uh, top-down shooter. So there's a, a path option here. It's a loop. I don't know. Hmm. Sort of like a list of these things, I wonder. I probably need to read a, a little bit more of the documentation. I've... Uh, I've read a bit of it, but... So I want to really just play around with um, these. There has to be a way to uh, better like move these around. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll kind of play around with it. So AI brain. There's like just pa uh, a path here. Uh, these must be all of the different elements, I believe. Yeah. And they're all 0 0.05. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to place these around somewhere else. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick out like a general path area. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of move these all around a little bit. Whoa, that is definitely not what uh, <laughs> I was thinking as far as this. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I, I don't know, man. Like... In other, uh, in other kind of uh, stuff like this, especially in like that stealth, um, that stealth toolkit that I 
have used in uh, Unreal. Like, moving waypoints and stuff was uh, really easy because everything was kind of the same. Uh, you could, like, select and move it, like, based off planes. But yeah, this is really... I'm not a fan of this. I actually think I... Yeah. Let's do... Oh, let's do this. So, um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> Not a, I'm not a big fan of how uh, you move these, but that's something that uh, you know we'll try to kind of keep working towards and stuff. I'll try to keep it sort of, um, sort of around the close kind of end of things. So um, again, just come back through here and then paste. The uh, Y and make sure it's all uh, lined up, I guess. Um, that's just something that we might have to do, but that's fine. Maybe he can come there. And what I'll do is I'll try to kind of just create like a, an interesting path or something. And then um, kind of build around that. So maybe there's like a, there's like several hallways or something, or maybe this could just be a, a room. Not entirely sure. I mean, there's so many different options that um, I'm really excited to kind of explore. It's not what I wanted. We'll do that. We'll copy. And then we'll uh, bring that there. There's just like a nice little L shape or something. It's just be a, a room. I guess I was on the faces, uh, but that still didn't, isn't like gonna really be too helpful. Um, I don't think so, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure that we're on the object selector if we're uh, playing around with like these different objects. So uh, one of the things is um, one of the things that I I, I should do. Um, I don't I don't I don't know if this is going to work. Whoa. Why? Well, I I have no idea. I'm just so like I'm so lost. So is it not liking something with my colonial guy? I had the container there. <sighs> I think I wasn't supposed to move this guy. Oh, we need to make sure that we have the zone one. I forgot. This is a uh, this is gonna be a work in progress, but this is what uh, game development's all about. So we have the dash ability. Um, another thing that I'm I might add 
Um, and I might add in the next uh, video uh, is this kind of, uh, I want to have like a little outline to, whoa, is that guy? Oh no, no, he's fucking new. So uh, one of the things I want to add, um, I can kind of show you, is I want an outline. So if your character is behind a, a wall or something, uh, you'll be able to tell where he's at. And then I want to do the same for um, the enemies. So if they have um, uh, a red outline, I might have to do that though before the next video because again, I don't want to spend too much time uh, worrying about uh, stuff like that. But um, yeah, so we'll disable the zone one again. I need to keep reminding myself to enable it after um, every time we do something. Uh, but uh, I want to go back into Pro Builder and I want to kind of uh, just make sure that this guy won't be able to see me um, if there is a wall. So uh, I'm just going to place a nice... Sounds kind of good. Oh, we don't want an arch, that is for sure. Uh, so we'll do we'll do this, uh, and we'll actually bring this out. Let's bring this out over here. Oh crap! But we can always move a. You can always move the wall over. Um, I forgot, forgot how big the other wall was. So this wall is four. That's four, so that's pretty good. Um, we're going to select this face, and we're going to bring this all the way clear out here. And then... Um, what I'd like to do is just uh, kind of play around with this. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to enable the zone one camera. Um, I don't know. I might look at uh, just disabling the zone one camera because I really don't feel like I really need it. Um, so I might I might play around with that uh, before the next video for this project. But uh, I just want to make sure that uh, this guy won't be able to notice me. Walking. So he does see me. That's really odd. And his bullets go through the wall, so that's something that I don't necessarily want. Ah, uh, it hits me. So yeah, that's another thing that I, I might have to look into is, um, you know, the wall acting like a wall that's really it's really important though i guess what i could do is i could disable that real fast instead of using pro builder um i could just uh because this is just like a normal wall right what i could do is just create a 3d object cube and just see what that does where's that at okay that's right here um, which again, I don't really want to just use cubes like this because it's just really, it's just much more harder to actually control these. I don't know. I like having control over this like, um, you would a, um, like the pro builder shapes. So this is something that I don't necessarily want to use, but... I just want to see if a normal shape like this has the same effect. Cause that, I feel like that would tell me if it's a issue with like Pro Builder and how it's like set up or if that's just, if that's something that happens, um, no matter what. And I think there are some, uh, and I probably should look at some stuff too cause I have some contents here. Um, obstacles, interesting. 
So all of these are obstacles. So that, that might not work, but what might work is if we do this and we have this be an obstacle on the obstacles layer and this be on an obstacles layer. And with that, we test. Guess what I forgot? I forgot zone, oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. I guess I didn't, uh, I guess I didn't disable it. But uh, I wanted to see what happens um, with this obstacle uh, layer on this block. I just want to see if he detects me. I want to see if he can shoot through me. And no, oh, looks like it works. Looks like my dude has no idea I'm here. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that was a simple fix that, um, you know, we just want to make sure that whatever new shape that we build in uh, Pro Builder, um, you know, this guy, he lost me. <laughs> Though I would like it, uh, and this is something that I might have to kind of program later, but I, I do want to enable some sort of, um, I would like to enable some sort of Thing where he goes and like tries to find me and I'm sure there's something set up with this but yeah so we have pretty much all of the kind of little stuff that um, is needed for this so um, we have that uh, let's see what other stuff we can make with pro builder um, we kind of have this doorway So we could, um, let's just do, let's do this. Oh, I think I see what it's, yeah. <laughs> let's just get rid of that. Um, what we'll do then is we will do it this way. Whoa. We'll do it this way. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm cr what I'm creating and what I'm not creating. So I'm just gonna. I'll just do that, and then I'll just add in a doorway like that. And I'm, I'm curious. Does this? No, it doesn't, it doesn't do that, which it's, it's fine. It's, but what we, what we might need to add for this though, is we might need to add in um, just a small little block for like a roof or something. Just for this particular area. that or I, I don't even know if we really need to uh, worry so much about that uh, we want to make this an obstacle but we'll want to test this to make sure that if it's an obstacle if we can still go through the doorway um, I mean the colliders I don't know if that's the colliders or I don't know. Well, we'll have to play around with it and, and see what it does. Uh, we'll go and build a new shape. And we'll have this go up to here. I'll just create another just wall. We'll fine tune these. So we go and have the shape thing there. Again, this is not really like. I'm gonna slide that in. Or maybe we just wanna slide this out. We kinda do that, I guess. 
so um, let's yeah let's select this whoa what's going on here I'll just slide that slide this up but what I want to do so I want to do something um, a bit different so I'm just going to extrude this another piece of this all the way to the wall and this I want to extrude and again all of this is going to have to be to text real fast so um, I'm gonna go to obstacles and then uh, I'm going to add in a staircase and again this is something that I will probably need to play around with Because I'm not entirely sure, A, it's not really what I wanted, but I have to remember that everything is like, everything is like face forwarding, so it's just a lot of stuff that we have to kind of remember for this uh, level build. But, I, I'm determined. So this is going to go up to four squares like that. Um, we'll want to probably increase the count of the steps. Uh, let's try 30. Uh, that's fine. The thing that I'm trying to uh, figure out though is uh, I want to find out if this is something that... Um, my player can go up. And if he can go up it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of experimenting I'm doing with this uh, top down engine and with uh, Pro Builder itself. Cause I'm not entirely sure what is what, but we'll go ahead and play it. Got that, our dash ability, I got the gun. As you can see, the guy probably can't tell that we're here, of course. But we can kill him. <laughs> I'm just kind of hard to tell where the guys are um, so I think having that um, that kind of indication like that outline so awesome this is working out actually a lot better than I thought it would so we, yeah I mean we can really build this thing out then I'm really excited about this so uh, I think with that um, we have this going, which I'm not going to worry too much about like the top here. Um, it actually isn't really that much of a, a bad thing to have that like open up there because I mean, it, it looks a bit wonky. I mean that we might have to kind of like close out, but I mean this, you could tell that it's a, a doorway. Um, we could even add in like maybe a few um, a few sides here but I don't want to focus too much on that right now I really want to kind of start building out um, kind of like the narrow hallways and stuff for this 
So I'm going to go ahead and just add in another block. Wait, what? Oh. I just got so confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what is going on here? So we'll just kind of use this and then we'll bring this up. go ahead and we will we'll add in another here and again this all is subject to you know get changed to be iterated on of course like there's no real there's no real wrong answer with this, I, I, I guess, is the goal. Um, this I'm going to bring all the way out to here. I just kind of make like a kind of a central room. Maybe this is like an office or something that you come in. And with that kind of in mind, what we could also do, um, I want to make sure that this is, again, uh, an obstacle. And that this is an obstacle as well. Um, we'll go in here and at go in here and add a, a new shape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in just a little. Might even add, we might even add, add some height difference. So, um, I might just have like it go up to three for like these kind of inner walls, just so there's some variation in um, some variation and whatever. that uh i think that space is like what three i believe that was over there yeah uh and what i'm gonna do well before i do that before i do anything um, i want to make sure that these are all obstacles uh just i feel like it's better to just kind of start having that be a it's better to have that be just kind of a, a general habit um, because there might be a time where we okay so there might be a time where we forget about it so I want to move this container again just to see what happens I might even bring him out there uh, and I just want to see like what this is all about okay so that's not, uh... Yeah. So we're gonna have to control this whole entire area. Why? Like, what is out here? Uh, where's... I don't know if I necessarily want that. Um, but now this is a lot more manageable, I feel like. The auto... What? Oh, there we go. I feel like the camera... I feel like there's some, uh, I feel like there's some camera work that needs to be done, but, uh, so we can't go over there. Wait until he, like, passes, I guess. So, I felt like I couldn't 
auto lock. I, I can't remember if I was auto locking onto him last time, but um, getting rid of that auto aim might have disabled that. So we have that going. Um, we back out. Um, that's kind of a thing that I want to kind of work on. Is uh, let me let me. Let me see if that, uh, let me see if the zone itself is, let's see if bringing this back, and it actually looks encompass this whole area. I want to see if this is uh, what's kind of causing that weird camera behavior. Um, if not, we might have to go and, and look at a few more things. So now let's just take a look and see what uh, happens. Okay, so yeah, I mean it's. I don't know. I, I I feel like maybe we should add in maybe something here, where there's just not like there's just not just a wall there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of want him to chase after me. Well, I think that was a great uh, ending to the video. Um, it's about 40 minutes, so this is probably going to be a, a smaller, uh, quicker video. But yeah, I wanted to really start doing s some more stuff in, in Unity, uh, especially with working with ProBuilder. I know that that's a really uh, popular tool that um, you know a lot of people uh, that use Unity um, utilize so that's something that um i wanted to kind of jump into again and, and do something else but uh i i still do plan to finish that overwatch level um it's just i feel like i'm getting through it inch by inch um i mean last video was an hour just me working on like one catwalk and i and i feel like that was like all it was so Again, um, I just felt like doing something a little bit more different and um, doing something that, uh, you know, is a little bit more exciting, has a little bit more action to it. So, um, yeah, I, I really like playing around with these type, uh, type of systems where there's like enemy AI and there's like different little spawn points. You get to place the spawn points around and uh, because that's really kind of a, a lot of... Um, that's that's kind of a lot of uh what design is is making an experience and it's it's not just you know making levels and and, and spaces and whatnot but it's uh you know placing interactive elements like you know these uh pickups and 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 having these enemies you know go around and stuff so i'd like to really work a lot uh, I'd really like to work on projects that deal a lot more with like certain mechanics and 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 maybe even have like a mechanic challenge where there's like a certain mechanic that um, you know I find on the Unity store or Unreal Engine asset store or something like that and then um, or just like hey how do you implement a swimming mechanic in the level or how do you you know how do you use traversal in different ways so I, I'm always kind of looking for uh, stuff like that uh, so if you guys have any suggestions on any specific uh, systems out there um, that of course are free to uh, use uh, I did purchase a top-down engine because uh, I was looking at it for another personal game project um, but that's kind of in limbo right now um, but uh, yeah, I, I really feel like uh, through this video, um, I can continue to, you know, use this asset that I purchased. And um, I mean, I, I, I feel like Top Down Engine, this is uh, not a bad little package to, to get, especially if you like top down games. Uh, 
it seems like that's something that I've been uh, focusing a lot on um, in my own personal games. Um, so yeah, it's just something that, uh, you know, I feel kind of drawn to for some odd reason, which is weird because I don't play a lot of top-down games, but I really, for some reason, like making top-down games. Um, and I think it's just placing, you know, kind of like with the stealth uh, stealth level stuff, uh, placing like waypoints and, and having enemies kind of patrolling areas and, and, and making those spaces kind of feel alive. I, I feel like um, that's just kind of something that I really enjoy making. So again, um, I want to end the video there. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, and yeah, I, I plan to make more of the uh, Overwatch level. Uh, it'll probably be my next video. Um, I'm going to try to make a lot more videos and, and keep those up. But yeah, I want to thank everybody. Um, make sure to subscribe and comment down below um, if you have any questions or suggestions for my channel. And yeah, I just want to wish everybody a, a great weekend if you're watching this. Um, on the weekend or a great week if you're watching this a little bit later and i will see you guys later see ya